Hello everyone, I'm Nick from nextstepnick.com and today we're going to talk about Lone Land. Now this is a weird one, I got some really Studio Ghibli-esque vibes when I first started this up. The railway in the middle of the water made me think of Spirited Away. And I'm sorry that the gameplay as well is a little bit jerky, but you can't really adjust the sensitivity, so you're kind of stuck, so I'm sorry about that. The basic premise is that you're running around collecting these little sim-like crystals. There's loads of them, and as you pick them up, it makes buildings appear. And then those buildings are like your bridge to find more. And as that happens and goes on, you slowly populate the world with all these different buildings of different shapes and sizes. They don't really deviate in regard to design, they're all very much the same. They just sort of appear out of nowhere and you're jumping across from roof to roof. And to be honest, when you've made quite a few buildings, it feels quite cathartic, it's quite fun. It's got that Spider-Man-esque kind of thing, where you feel just really nice jumping around. There are these weird messages knocking around in the level, like there's this sort of ulterior motive talking about loneliness and not being alone, which is sweet, but there's not really enough of it to make much sense. So by the time you notice it, you're kind of towards the end of the game, and it's very, very short. I mean, full disclosure, I was sent a copy of this, but this will cost you, I think, about 69p, I think it's on sale for. So 69 pence isn't bad for something like this. It's fun, it's a sweet little concept, and for the feeling of jumping around, it's really nice. If it was smoothed out a little bit, and if you potentially made this a lot smoother, a little less jerky, and put it into something like VR, it could be really interesting, especially when you get to the really high buildings, because I feel like this is the kind of thing, a bit like that Plank game, where people would sort of say, oh, you know, I am definitely high up. And it does feel quite high, and you feel quite cool leaping from building to building. But this is all there is to it. There's no more, really. You get like a point score at the end, you work your way up higher and higher and higher until eventually you get sort of the top crystals at the very, very top of the game and that kind of triggers this train to appear. So you finally get the top crystals, you get to the final point, this train appears on the track which seems interesting and I was hoping there was going to be more, you know, how is this going to progress from here? Maybe there's another station? No, you know, the game just, the game just ends there and it gives you a point score based on how you've done and Maybe there's like a speedrunning element here. It's sweet, it's a nice feeling, it will kill maybe 20 minutes, but there's not much else here. So nice concept, interesting, but show me what else you can do. Anyway, thank you very much for tuning in. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video. Head over to nextstepnick.com for all the latest news, reviews and articles, or head over to the Twitch and search for Nick, and I'll catch you on the stream. Thanks very much and goodbye.